edit in, in the genome. And that's disappointing. But here's the thing. The fact that they're publishing these studies, they're saying like, hey, hold up. We can't just throw CRISPR into people yet because there are all these not off target edits that are happening with CRISPR. So more research is needed. We need to develop better technology. Like, I, I love it when people take shit like this and it's like science figuring out a problem and saying, hey, this is a problem that we need to solve before we increase our usage of this thing or even start usage of this thing in people. And um, and they, they take that warning and they say, oh, see, there are problems that scientists just want to jump in with no ethical considerations whatsoever. And it's like, yeah, there was that one dude in China who injected like I think it was two uh, like embryo twins with a CRISPR edit and I don't know what he was trying to do but it's like that was like he was universally condemned by the scientific community for that it was like that was completely out of line he should not have done that and like that's the only example they have of that and that's that's actually one of the uh, ethical considerations we need to uh to have discussions about with CRISPR because the one of the problems like one of the good things about CRISPR is that it's super cheap and easy for labs to do and get a hold of it like they don't need all sorts of specialized equipment that you might need for other methods of gene editing um so it, it makes it easier it's more accessible to the scientists but then with increased accessibility comes increased ability for crazy people like that guy in China to just do non-approved experiments like the one that he did and like we may like the the kids that he edited might grow up to be healthy adults they might not i don't know oh, oh um yeah he was trying to make them immune to hiv yeah i think that's that that rings a bell i feel like that was the one that he um that he was going for but like yeah that was massively unethical he was universally condemned because we know that crispr is not ready for that yet and this is why. These major unintended edits are more harmful than they sound. They can actually lead to birth defects or life-threatening yeah. medical problems like cancer. Yeah, they probably could. Which is why we're not using CRISPR on people that are bringing their babies to term. And those issues could permanently enter the gene pool and affect future generations. Oh, <laughs> Alfonso says CRISPR, or as Americans call it, chipser. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Sometimes our finite minds don't always foresee the potential dangers or ramifications of these innovations on human life. You're literally talking about a study that found the potential dangers and ramifications of these innovations on human life and using that as evidence that we don't know, the, uh, we can't foresee the potential dangers or ramifications of these innovations on human life. Fuck you. Like, really? Like, like it's not like they're hiding these studies under a rock you wouldn't have heard about it if they were this is why it's dangerous 